We try and create an environment where if anyone were coming to Melbourne for one day, every person would come here. My name is Daniel Platt and I'm one half of Localing Tours. I'm Dean, otherwise known as Dingo, and I'm one of the co-founders at Localing Private Experiences, which is kind of a tour company for people that don't like tours. We want to get people in touch with the creative heartbeat of our region. We want you to meet the people, the creators, at the centre of culture and industry, and the people that make Australia such a special place to explore. We love finding what guests are into, what they're passionate about, and making that a central part of the experience. So it's more like an adventure with a well-connected local mate. In more recent years, we're starting to celebrate what it means to be Australian, what it means to be a modern Australian. There's something in the water here. We breed incredible talent. We're all unique and a culture is really diverse, but a lot of the best culture is kind of tucked away. It's hidden in neighborhoods, in alleys, in back streets. It's much more understated local charm and street art plays a really important role in that. Graffiti in particular, it's the biggest and most enduring art movement the world's ever seen. It's truly global, there's almost nowhere you can go without it, and it's accessible. It's not hidden away in a gallery. You can just walk around and enjoy it. I think the coffee and cafe scene in Australia is so important because we love the casual nature of it. It's about old-fashioned hospitality, warmth and comfort, and you can wear your sandals and who knows what cutlery you're supposed to use, but the quality of the produce is exceptional and the chefs get out of the way, you know? It's just about good, casual, delicious food, exceptional coffee, it's unpretentious. It's a great way to eat. The back of our overalls now, it says Magic Makers. How do we elevate your experience so you remember it? Because if you can't make great coffee, cook good food, you shouldn't be in hospitality. That's the minimum baseline, right? How do you lift it? And you lift it, it's through the magic. I feel like when you travel, there's often the temptation to try and see as much as possible. Our belief about travel is all the good stuff happens with a bit of breathing space. Cheers to the great time. Yes. Experiences need to stand on their own and time to connect with country and people. It's so much a part of a really transformative lifetime experience. Australia is rustic luxury. It's historic, it's beautiful, it's relaxed, it's authentic. We remember when it was very hard to get here and I think we still though it's easier, really appreciate people who make the journey. And we're very house proud. We want you to come here and love it and go home raving, talking about this incredible experience with beautiful people at this far-flung corner of the earth.